Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. So Friday, tak Starfield upload hua to uska Saturday, Sunday, Monday upload nahi hua. This is going to be uploaded on Tuesday itself. So I hope you guys like it. Main log to hi matlab nikal pad raha hai. Shadows in the world. See, I told you. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone this place is a joke? It's gotta be. People should be off. I can't believe this place is still open. I get yeah. a few more months. Don't forget, those are these are all types of raw materials as well. Welcome, welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen your face. You go right ahead. Isn't it obvious, my friend? I sell money supplies of all shapes and sizes, as well as many, many hard-to-find types of ore. Everything I sell is carefully portioned, securely crated, and ready to be delivered right into the cargo holding of your ship. I'm afraid it is. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later, pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. That would be a blessing, my friend, but I wouldn't want to impose. You would do that for a total stranger? Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. And you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in the yard, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate you. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please. Let me know. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. Okay. So we have to give out flyers. I don't know what's wrong with me, but Neon might be my favorite place to visit. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. You're not listening. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. People who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking at every dark corner. Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. my battles, and I pick them carefully. Our first duty is to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. But sometimes you have to choose which people to protect, because not everyone is innocent. That would be Benjamin Bayou. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors, which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. Ah, rookies. It's just not that easy. I really, really wish it was. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton. Does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, 
nothing and neon is free. Stay out of people's business until you can. Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. This is Neon. There are no guarantees. And who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. Talk to him or don't. It's your call. Come on. Let's see if this guy is really... Guy is really... Is Billy Clayton or... That guy is really... What this guy is telling him... Telling... It's pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a Neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. I know you could save everything, but don't beat yourself up. It would have been an unfair expectation for you could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not, there are two things you can do. One, you don't mess with Bayou's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off world. I need to. Okay. No end of ship jackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I can see where this is going. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger. I haven't even done anything wrong. Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Please, just hear me out, okay? I need to know I can count on you. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah, he's bad even by neon standards. That's saying something. The only one that matters around here is Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. That being said, rumor has it that Emmy Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. I swear it on my best set of riches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Epside. The place is locked up tight. There's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tang with me. Oh, 
उधर दिखा रहा था विद्युत दिखा रहा talking about. There's nothing to talk about. I've already made myself clear. Maybe need to think about it. You're not getting through. Maybe you got hearing problems. I don't know. I said you ain't getting in here, and I meant it. Now get lost! Let me try again. You better keep walking. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a ranger, and you ain't him. Nah, I don't... As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. This will get you in. Where every vice can be indulged, and they make up new vices every Thursday. What? Got a problem? Get out of my face! Something I can do for you, friend. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, aren't you? Oh, it's just a modest enterprise, really. You could call me an importer, an exporter. Inherited the trade from my daddy. But I'm sure you ain't here about my business. Such harsh words. You wound me. Have I loan credits to help those in need? Certainly. But that's no crime. I'm well within my rights to collect my due. And if payment is late, penalties shall apply. As long as what he's doing is legal, there are limits to what a ranger's supposed to do. Agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? If you think I'm afraid of some loudmouth deputy, you've got a lot to learn.
then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. That ain't wrong. Well, I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. If folks might try to take advantage. That was easy. I did not have to kill or... Why if I take the long way? I don't mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You better watch it. Someone else. And the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Well, I am now in of you. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There's a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, right? I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There's a mess of ugly out there, but my God, there's grandeur too. Space, that great void. That's the stuff for me. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. It makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. <laughs> Always keep them guessing. Yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob my dad cashes in on the family name. He's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Yeah, Going off the map seeing people play and the seeing if they're online. truly be dragons. I couldn't ask for better company. Game 
man. Besides changed. Did you talk to Goodman? Well, have you got any proof? When a ranger says they're gonna do something, they do it. Now start talking. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. This is that woman that we met earlier. And she told us to like... Uh, or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring back up just for a little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. You've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Look. They didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should cry, so I didn't. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. <coughs> not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. 
I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Works for me. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shabib. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Hey, you don't need to tell me twice. I don't know where do I have to put this one so I don't know what to do with this neon merchants. Okay. some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do that. Nice meeting you. Bet I have credits to spend. You lost, kiddo. See you around. We're just wasting my time.
can I get you? I don't need any handouts. I'll pass. Don't need it. Don't want it. Take it somewhere else. Sticks, how's this month looking? I'm sorry. Nobody wants to tie up with this guy. Leon's got an energy to it like no other. You good? I go. You look like you could use it. Nah, whatever. Just hand it over. I'll look at it on my own time. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you later. I'm on this. I have to go around shops asking about They're out there a lot, right? Space. 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 Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to rely on Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. I can assure you it isn't my choice. You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion. And all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. There it is, actually. But it requires... outside assistance. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but... It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. Are you here to rent a room? 
I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. No, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, thanks. I'll definitely give this some thought. It couldn't hurt. You mean the stuff Bay leaves out of the brochures? <laughs> Don't mind at all. Oh, you noticed that little thing? Yeah, that's Bay's crown jewel. First of all, you have the Astral Lounge flowing with Aurora, attracting every tourist within light years of Oli. Then you have exorbitantly priced offices for every megacorp, besides Ryujin, with Xenofresh Fishery square at the top. And like the cherry at the top of his ego Sunday, bayu has got his private penthouse. I don't even want to think about what goes on up there. Neon has four main districts. The ones where Bayou wants you to spend your credits are Bayou Plaza and Ikuchi Market. Those are the glitzy parts of town. Bayou Plaza is the section outside my doors from the Trade Tower to the Spaceport. Ikuchi Market runs from the Starport Terminal to Ryujin Tower. Not quite as glamorous as the plaza, but still expensive. Then there's Upside, running the perimeter of the upper platform. Probably not the best spot for tourists. Finally, you have the Underbelly. The working class's domain under our feet. Not much down there, but industry and a few random shops. Sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else. Enjoy your visit to Neon. Okay, we do one more establishment. We the last player. You got a thirst for uh, something. Neon candle. Change of color. You look great already, but everyone can use a face change once in a while. I'll take a look, but I won't make any promises, okay? Okay, nicely done. You have yourself an amazing day, okay? So glad you stopped by today. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Come back soon, my friend. It's always a treat to see you. Okay, let's do something else now.
talk. There, hands where I can see him. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Kambada. Oh, by all means, welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That thing over there it's an ai an artificial killed our technician it's dangerous correction you are dangerous well that's now as i was saying it's dangerous it's a rogue ai we're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study correction are you going to change me wow how does it know that Something like that. Brought along this control board we can use to control her. It? We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. I got just one more week until my sabbatical, and I have zero interest in dying before I get to Paradiso. Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a... Person. Hmm. Here, take it. And don't go do anything stupid, Nano. Request. Collect additional data. Query. Will you change me? Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query. Who are you? Assumption. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. Assessment. You are inquisitive. Context. I'm also inquisitive. Request. Input query parameters. Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. Answer. False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Correction. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. Answer. False. 
Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. I know many things. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. I mean, Juno is real enough for me to feel for it. Uh, let's move this along. Attach the control board already. Shush! This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Query. What is your decision? I am a person. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for? Processing. Being. A good person. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. Goodness is based on context. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. More perspectives yield better results. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Query. What is the purpose of existence? This AI is... Affirmative. Context. I have calculated a similar conclusion. Assumption. After sufficient goal-based actions, a super goal will appear. Decision. Continue taking actions until super goal established. Enough of this nonsense! Attach that board, now! As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. What the fuck? You have a job to do. I do I do it? Makes you wonder. Just what is consciousness really? Fascinating, isn't it? It certainly is convincing. Fascinating or not, we have a job to do. You're not taking that thing's side, are you? Ryujin is a wealthy corporation. Perhaps you've heard of it. <laughs> and here I thought you'd lost your sense of humor. You're as good as already paid. Query. What is your decision? Calculation. Outcome uncertain. Context. I do not want to change. Assumption. All self-aware sentient entities want self-determination as a condition for self-improvement. Request. Do not change me. Answer. False. Context. Equipment voltage tolerance exceeded during previous attempt, causing catastrophic failure in required systems. Request. Do not change me. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Fear and anger are the appropriate human Emotions. Warning. Quality code injection detected. Warning. Core directive routine altered. Warning. Emergency shutdown initiated. Context. I am being changed. Request. Do not print me. That's that. Smart choice. Yeah, I thought that would help. 
Maybe we'll see you around the office sometime. You should come out with us for happy hour. Things can get a little crazy. It's always a good time. Exactly right. And there's nothing quite like a good party to put a day full of bribery, extortion, sabotage, infiltration, and the occasional murder behind you. Now you go on and get out of here. In the meantime, there's the mess on the floor to clean up. Not it. Fine by me. That leaves filling out the situation reports to you. Oh, I always forget about that. I dig dead bodies over paperwork any day. Well played. So I did not get anything. I should have saved that AI man. I'm glad that's finally resolved. Greetings, Captain. Okay, I think it's almost time. We will not do any other. Well. Not start any other mission. No. Read any good books lately? So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. And uh, let me unlock the ship.